To create a new user on your solo platform, you'll notice that you need to be logged in as an admin or owner, which will display under your circumstances. In this one, I've typed in admin or owner just to remind you. This should typically say your name. What you'll do is you can go over to the three line hamburger menu, click on this, scroll down to the bottom under the company header and click on create user. This will be the screen that you see. In order to create a user, you'll need to create a default password. Say that is password123 dollar sign. It needs to contain one capital and one number and one special character. Pass here, you'll put in the user information, first name, last name, phone number. Phone number needs to be nine, excuse me, 10 numbers. No spaces, no dashes, no periods in, in between. The email, go ahead and just put in an actual email. You'll notice that the password, first name, last name, phone number, and email are all required fields. The phone number is a really great thing to put in because then you can come down to SMS opt-in and check that box. When you check that box, the rep will get notifications through their text messages whenever a proposal is created, if they're tagged in a note, a CAD or docs are fulfilled. Basically notifications from the system, they'll get a text message so they know when it's done. Once you've filled out this information, come to the time zone, click on this and type in your time zone. It's a lot easier to type in the time zone instead of looking for it. So if we type in Denver, you'll once again select the role from owner to default. Sales reps will be the most common used. Um, sales reps are able to see all of their own leads, no one else's. Setter managers can see all the setter leads. Excuse me, setters can just create leads. Setter managers can see all those leads. Sales managers can have people assigned to them, such as sales reps. They'll be able to see the sales reps leads, but they will not be able to see any other leads within uh, the organization that are outside of their sales group. Sales admins can see everything. They can create users and a couple other features. Owners have all admin access, privileges, rights. They can do anything within the site. We'll set this as a sales rep. Any additional roles you wanted to give them, such as setter or default, basically anything beneath them. Um, if they do have a sales manager you want to assign them to, you can select the manager. We would just say, you know, the admin or owner, or you can leave that blank. Um, in most circumstances, you'll leave that blank. Um, or un, unedited. Anyway, once you've got all this information in there, you go ahead and click create user. This will give you the confirmation new user created up top and then you'll see the user's email. You can change their password. You can deactivate the user, change their roles, anything like that.